Hello and welcome along and welcome back to This Is Island. Today we're going to be trying something out first. Uh, we are going to jump in our horse sprayer here. Now we've got 860 litres in and I don't want to buy any more at the moment because we're going to have to borrow money to do that. But what we want to try and do is we're going to try and spray fields 33 and 21. Now both fields are... Uh, in final stage growth, which is good for us. Uh, now, what they also have is neither of them are quite there yet in so far as, uh, uh, as being ready, uh, fully fertilized. 33 especially, if we look at the condition of the crop, uh, we absolutely could do with uh, making sure that that's good. Same with 21. So uh, we're going to go and head over there. And we're going to head down to 21 because that needs the spray more. Uh, and we are, because we're day three of summer, we're in a position where we're uh, we're sort of in the middle. We're expecting these two wheat fields to be ready to harvest. Probably in the next couple of game days. Uh, so that's, that's why we're trying to do this now. As I said, we're not going to try and do field 34 first. Uh, two reasons for that being... One, uh, it's fairly uh, far done as far as fertilizer goes. It's 66% done in most places. Um, so that's not a huge issue. Uh, but field 21 absolutely has only had one thing of fertilizer on it. So what we're going to do today is, uh, is we're going to spray, see if it sprays with fertilizer. If it does... We're going to use a trick that we used on the old farm countryside uh, where we're going to spray it with fertilizer. S then spray it with herbicide because we have a couple of barrels of herbicide. Uh, and then try and respray it again with fertilizer. And hopefully that will get it up fully. That's if this works. So let's fold this out. And if this does work, we can borrow some money. Um, and then we'll be able to do our other field as well. And basically fill this up and do both. So we'll unfold this. Now it looks like this is final stage growth. Which it isn't. Um, so uh, yeah, let's give this a go. See if this works. So I'm going to turn it on. We've only got a little bit. Going to go a little way. I'm going to turn it off. There we go. And we're going to check the map. So we've come on this little bit at the end here. And it hasn't worked. So today, that is that has put an end to that. This is as far as those two fields are going to go for spraying. So with seasons, very important. If your crop reach, reaches final stage growth, so not final stage as in ready to harvest. If it reaches this dark green uh, and uh, and is, is ready from that, uh, yeah, you cannot spray it any further. Unlike on the normal game where you could still spray this. So... There you go. We should be ready to harvest in a couple of days on these. It looks like field 41 is going to be ready as well. So we're going to be harvesting probably mid-summer uh, mid for this, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, so we'll go and take this back. And I think the next thing we're going to have to do is probably sort our animals uh, because they are... In any, uh, they're going to be in need of some work today. So we last did animal work about two days ago. Um, our crops are all good. Actually, no, actually, I have a better idea. We are going to do our animals. We're going to have a quick check of our animals. But we will still be using this horse because our grass fields are in need of fertilizing. Um, all three of our grass fields are in a position where they could do with some fertilizer. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to get this filled up. So what we'll do is we'll take this to our buy anything station. And we'll get this filled with some fertilizer. And then we're going to jump in our animal stuff. And uh, and get to work on those, I think. Uh, we're not going to get any more wool this year either, interestingly. So uh, I think we should uh, probably get those out of the way. Uh, wool prices are not good until next year at this point. So uh, yeah. We'll just store that until the next sale. This, though, uh, we need to borrow some money. 
which we haven't borrowed much. We've only got 10,000, so borrow this. And we could probably do what we did last time, to be honest. Uh, back and refill with liquid fertilizer. Right, so that is full. But we're going to leave it here for the moment. Because if we look at our animals, our cows very much in need of a load of work. Our sheep very much in need of a load of work. And our horses also in need of a load of work. So let's start over at the cow pen. So we'll head up here. Head to here and enter the Aryan. There we go. So cows need uh, water and straw and total mixed ration. We have all of them sitting here. So this should be fairly quick, this one. Uh, we will do that and attach this. There we go. Uh, now, we don't have any straw in this. We did actually end up emptying the last bit out of it last time. So what we'll do is we'll bring this out of here. Turn this round and we're just going to reverse this up. And once we've done this, uh, what we can do... Wow, that is uh, that is not so very straight reversing. Uh, it's just re -dis uh, disconnect it again. Uh, and we'll go and grab a couple of straw bales. So this is why I went back and I, I fully emptied it last time. We were in a position where we just needed to get rid of that. So that is done there. Whoa. Ah, oh, we weren't able to stop that fully. No, that has completely fallen off. That's okay. And we will get this into our thing. Now, one of the things I love about this Axion is that. The fact that I can lift up this on here and have such a clear view of where my front loader is. Uh, that is just brilliant. Certainly on some of the older tractors I've used, uh, you don't have that view. And that it just works so well. Now, just reverse this up. And we'll hook this back up. Uh, and we should have enough in here now. Uh, they are almost empty in their, uh, in their straw. So it should just be a case of popping around here and getting this emptied. Again, we'll just open the gateway here and pull through. And while we're here, while we're opening this gate, we'll turn on our tap as well. So that will then sort the water for the cows at the same time and kill two birds with one stone basically there we are and then we will set this unloading and our cows still aren't producing us any milk at the moment uh, they won't do for 12 months I mean if we have a look you can see there is no milk so uh, until the end of the first year they won't be doing that uh, this will take both uh, bales of this straw. So we'll just keep unloading that. And you can see it is a slightly over halfway. Uh, so we're actually pretty good there. Uh, we need to clean them out and we need to give them mixed rations. So what we're going to do is, uh, is we're going to run around with the bucket first. Uh, we're going to put that, uh, what we get out of that, into our existing mixed ration. There we go. Not quite emptying the trailer there. I think it takes two full trailers, basically. Or two full bales uh, for our cows. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, we're basically... We're going to take the... We, we're going to pull the um, mixer out. Uh, we'll bring it round here with the front. But we're going to go and clean first. Then put that into the mixer. And then give them their total mixed ration. The reason for that is they are full on silage at the moment. It was a mistake I made early on. Um, in that you ideally you what you want to leave the silage bar empty because they don't start eating that until they run out of total mix ration uh, uh, and it means that yeah you can't empty your cleanup into anything but fortunately we can empty it into our mixing trailer so there we go that will do let's disconnect this disconnect that uh, and then we're going to get rid of our bale spikes as well. Like so. Oh. Select the right thing. 
grab our bucket and we're just going to hook the mixing wagon up. We don't actually need to hook up any of the... Well, we need to hook up the cables because otherwise the brakes will be stuck on. But the actual uh, mixer itself, we don't need to hook up. Uh, although I don't want to trail that along the ground, to be honest. So uh, we will hook the whole thing up. Yeah, that would not be good, actually, to hook, not hook the PTO up and have it pushing it or, or dragging along the ground like that. So we'll avoid that problem. And what we'll do is we'll just pull this up here, get this into a position where we can easily load it, disconnect it. So like that, uh, like that, and like that. And then we can spin around here and go and collect this up. There we go. So plenty for us to get along here. Just need to run along. Actually, quite a bit of silage along the side here. There we go. Uh, and this won't uh, upset the mix. Because we, because we used slightly uh, less silage than we used hay bales in our mix, uh, our mix is actually still pretty good. Uh, as we use more of this... Uh, it will cause more of a problem. But at the moment, it's good, I think, uh, after checking last time. So, let's hook this back up. And that's just a nice, efficient way to do this job. There we go. And let's have a look. Yeah, we have plenty of total mix ration. And it is total mix ration. Uh, we can see in here... Uh, that now we actually have an equal mix of silage and hay in here. So that's all good. So let's get this around the other side and do that. I think we want to get a uh, muck spreader on here at some point. Maybe after we've done this year's uh, harvest. We'll see how much muck we have. And, uh, and maybe see if we can sort that out. All right, bring this along here. And empty it out. And I think the cows, hopefully the cows will take all of this this time. They should do. We have one ahead of us. Wow. Did they not take... They didn't take all of it. So that is not a huge problem. Uh, we'll turn off our mixer. But yeah. Wow. I fully expected them to take all of this. So that is the cow sorted. Uh, we are now going to head over and sort the sheep. Uh, and to do that, we are going to switch over to our telehandler. So uh, I will see you over there in a moment. Here we are at the telehandler. We've just got to open the barn door. And first things first is we have the forks on the front of this. So we need to drop those off and get our bale spike. Uh, take that down to our um, uh, again we, we've got to take this into our sheep paddock uh, so we basically have three vehicles now uh, one for each of our animals we've got the telehandler here which also does a lot of uh, main farm stuff uh, we've got our um, over at our uh, cows we've got the class uh, we've got the uh, the little tractor there the little class um, and then, of course, for our horses, we have our old 6810 uh, that is still kicking around and still doing a fantastic job down there. Um, but again, yeah, the horses need everything, um, just like our other animals. Let's pull into here. There we go. Now, the other thing I want to check today uh, is do we need to sell anything as well? Because if we need to do that, then we're going to have to uh, sort that too. Uh, now, as always, the first thing we're going to do is immediately drop this bale spike off again and, uh, and go and uh, clear up whatever's kicking around uh, around the sheep pen because it is rather dirty or around their feeding trough because it is rather dirty. So uh, we'll go and do that. And uh, yeah, this is this should be quite beneficial to our animals today. I think we're going to be doing well with this. It's interesting that our big field, um, from looking on the map a minute ago, field 23, that had so many weeds in it. Uh, that was that was unbelievable. 
yeah, and we got a fair amount of mess here at the front of our uh, of our sheep trough. So I'll just pop through and clean that up, which will do them well. And you can see they have nothing in their in their trough, um, but that's all right. We have uh, we'll bring a couple of bales over. Uh, we'll see how much that has filled them up actually, which will be good. Uh, so that has. Uh, only put wow that's put a tiny amount we definitely want at least two bales in this so we'll go drop this back off uh, we are going to need this bucket later when we uh, when we want to do silage work uh, down at the uh, down at the port because uh, that's where we're going to be taking all our silage we've got plenty of silage up at our cow yard uh, in our second farmyard over there uh, but here uh, we are going to need, uh, we are going to need this, unless we can get hold of a wheel loader. If we earn enough money uh, off our harvest this year, we could possibly get a wheel loader. Because we won't be doing uh, any silage work, or any um, setting up of the silage, until uh, probably the winter. Whoa, now that's popped under. Wanna... It can be quite difficult getting the angle right on this, because it's... A steep, we've got a really steep uh, bit coming up to that. And it would, uh, we did flatten it out so that we could put these on there. But the downside of that is it's made it a really steep approach. So, uh, yeah, that's not right. So let's get our hay bales in here. Like so so the first one should just disappear the second one should go in as well there we are and that has given our sheep almost that's a really good amount for our sheep we could possibly put at the end of this uh, at the end of the day put another bale in here uh, and that would do it well um we need to do the water on the way out so that's what we will go and do next and uh and yeah then i'm gonna go and head and put this away and we are going to go and sort the horses out. Which actually makes uh, this actually makes this a, sort of a sped up version of uh, the video we did a couple of times ago. So, uh, excuses for the repetitiveness. But, uh, to be honest, at the end of the day, that is, uh, is farming. And I'm down at the horses. So, the horses... To check on them. No, that's still the sheep. There we go. So our horses, they need straw. They need water. Uh, they need oats. And they need hay. Uh, so we will start this off by connecting up to our bale spike here. And, uh, and taking our hay. So we do have all of these things here, I think. Um, if we don't, we need to pop up to the main farm and just get some more straw. But I think our straw bale, uh, we've got plenty of. I'll drop this down. Yeah, there we go. So drop that down. Spike our bale. And lift. This is quite useful, this bale spike. Uh, we can bring a couple of bales down here. So we'll want to, uh, in a bit, uh, bring a couple of... Uh, straw bales down here just so that we have something for our um, uh, for our feed for our horses uh, and we'll just we'll just run that down here with the telehandler uh, and uh, and that will then do us for a couple of days uh, this though we will just plonk down pull off and that should all go in unless it doesn't and it, if it doesn't that means we still have 2700 left and i think that is because our horses now are full of hay so yeah it does not take a full hay bale we could we could leave one hay bale down here actually uh, and it would uh, and it would work for our horses so yeah there is that uh so we'll put this and our uh, bale spike back over here there we go, because this bale spike is not great over bumps. Right. And down. And off. There we go. 
Next up, we want to uh, do some oats. So we've got our little old Ransoms trailer here. This is a, this is a very old trailer. I really like this. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's perfect for this kind of job. Uh, it just uh, works really, really well uh, at this kind of job. Uh, it just, just allows us to uh, to take the oats and keep a load of oats down here. I mean, we could now sell off all the remaining oats we have because our horses just do not take many. Um, and this and this trailer we just filled it up, and uh, and it and it's just been doing stuff. I mean, let's see how much. So we've got four thousand five hundred left. Uh, they take all of. There we go. Uh, that's about one and a half thousand. So, uh, yeah, we probably could completely feed the horses twice more off this trailer, uh, which is perfect. Does mean that we need to keep smokes back at the main farm, though, because that will not get us through winter. And I'm not sure we have any fields of oats that we planted. So, uh, yeah, we need to keep an eye on that. I think we're all canola and corn and wheat this year. And it may even be a barley. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. Um, but uh, we have oats in store. And uh, and they are all for our horses. So, uh, we would need to, next uh, next year, uh, plant a field of oats. Uh, and, and work that into our rotation. Uh, because that would be very necessary. And then we've got the slight oddity. Where this connects through its bar. But not much we can do about that. Uh, that is a, a, a strangeness of the game. If I could work out how to sort that, I would. Right, and bring this around here. Maybe we just need to find a bale treader that has its uh, PTO below its, um, below its bit. All right, there we go. And away we go. I think there is one or two that we could get that would do it. Now, they're going to take quite a bit of this straw. We may have to take this back up to the main farm. Nope, they are. we are good. We've not used all our straw up or all our straw here. So, uh, yeah, that is our horses done. Uh, so, pretty good, that. I'm happy. Uh, what we're going to do now, then, is uh, probably spend the rest of the day getting stuff sprayed. Specifically... Seeing if we can get some fertilizer onto our grass fields, um, and uh, and get them doing a little bit better than uh, than they will at the moment. So uh, yeah, I will see you up at the main farm and with our sprayer. Here we go. We're in the sprayer. We're full of fertilizer, as we said earlier. And we're going to go and try our two smaller fields first. Uh, so all of our grass fields are in a position where they are growing. Uh, they are not final stage growth. Uh, they should all just work quite nicely for this. Uh, so they are all down this way here. Uh, and it's basically uh, this field here, which for some reason never quite grew to the edges. Uh, and this field here. So we're going to pop in here first. Now this could, as I said, this could do with some herbicide as well. Uh, both this field and field 23. In fact, no, all three of our grass fields very much could do with some herbicide. So we'll take this down the bottom. It's not going to take many runs to do this. Because this is a nice large sprayer. Uh, we want it fairly low. So I'm going to lower it down a bit. The only time we'll need to lift it is uh, is going over the gate. Uh, and uh, away we go. And there's not any obvious uh, thing of where we've been. So we might have to refer to our map a bit. Uh, but we are going to get this sprayed. So spread the headland. Um... I think that should about cover that. So let's have a look at where we are on here. And this has got... So we're on field 31. We need to turn grass on. So show all of that. Uh, and you can see here 
that that has made no difference at all. Which is amazing. I am a little bit shocked by that. Interestingly, it's now showing this as planted. Oh, no. No, it is showing it as first level of harvested. So we are. So this is this is the interesting thing. We are not in a position where we can actually spray anything. Uh, I would say this is uh, has been a bit of a spraying failure uh, today. So uh, yeah, uh, that's not good at all. I'm uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed by that because that means that we're in a position where we've not been able to get. Uh, more than a first level of fertilization on any of our grass fields. Uh, had we done it, the interesting thing is, had we done it first thing uh, in this, uh, we would have been fine. But our animals desperately needed the work. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a bit of a failure on that regard. Um, now, there's, that means, that does mean there is actually not that much left to do on the farm this day. We are in a position where all of our jobs pretty much now rely on waiting. We can't spray any further. All of our fields are fully fertilized. Uh, we've actually ended up wasting a fair amount of fertilizer and money as a result. Uh, we could actually do one last thing. There are three fields that need fertilizing. Field 36 needs fertilizing would make the money that we could uh, return that now field 36 is over which way field 36 is at the top there i would be amazed actually if that is able to be fertilized i don't think that is so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to pop up there part this away i'm going to pop up there and we'll go and have a look and see if that's possible. So here we are up at field 36. Uh, to me, this is sugar beet that looks pretty ready, actually. I think we'd get up here and uh, and we'd actually discover that uh, none of this is ready. Interestingly, that can't be right. Apparently, this field is owned by me. Uh, which is very, very odd. Yes, apparently. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lancey Boy, uh, <laughs> for making, for putting me in here as one of the farmers. Not sure about what it's saying about making me female, but uh, yeah, that confused me. Which, which pretty much, I think at this point sums up this entire video to be honest um i'm trying to take a contract from myself uh which is absolutely brilliant and i think on that note is where we're gonna end this video um all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and i will see you next time Goodbye.